Welcome, Grade 11s, to our lesson on the different methods of collecting data. Now, before we look at these methods, let's look at the statistical process and then the different types of data that can be collected. The statistical process has six interconnected stages, posing a question, collecting data, organizing data, summarizing data, graphing or representing data, and finally, analyzing data. Data can be classified as categorical and numerical. Let us look at what this means. Categorical data is data that is counted and not measured. Counting the number of blue cars on the road is an example of categorical data. Numerical data is data consisting of numbers. It includes discrete data and continuous data. You probably remember learning about discrete and continuous data in previous grades. Let's revise these definitions together. Discrete data is data that consists of numbers that are individual values. This means that the data only has whole numbers and no fractions or decimals. Continuous data is data that consists of numbers that can be any value. This includes fractions and decimals. Now that we know the different types of data that can be collected, let's look at the methods we can use to collect it. We'll be focusing on observations, interviews, and questionnaires. Let's start with observations. In an observation, data is collected by a person who watches or observes a situation. It is useful for collecting categorical data. Observations are useful when a marketing company needs to see what demographics buy a particular product. For example, they will count how many young, middle-aged and elderly people buy a certain brand of cereal. Once they know that data, they can better market the product to the correct age group. Now let's move on to interviews. Remember that we call the person who asks the questions the interviewer and the person who answers the questions the interviewee. An interview will ask a list of questions and will write down the answers that the interviewee gives. This is used to collect both categorical and numeric data. There are many things we need to consider before choosing an interview as a data collection method. Interviews take a lot longer to perform than the other methods. When interviewers write down the verbal answers, they can also write down observations about the interviewee's body language. This makes selecting interviewers a complicated and important task. These people need to be unbiased. This means that they won't have an opinion or a prejudice on the interview topic. If they have a strong opinion, they might try to change the interviewee's mind on the topic. Now, let's look at the questionnaire. A questionnaire is a set of printed or written questions with a choice of answers. There is space provided on the questionnaire for the answers to be written down. Questionnaires make it very easy to collect large amounts of data. People generally feel more free to be honest on a questionnaire than any other form of data collection. However, if they don't understand a question, they are not able to ask for help and as a result, incorrect data can be given. Remember that the questions used in questionnaires and interviews need to be clear and easy to understand. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Working with Data Handling Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about data handling on our website. Goodbye.